Hi YouTube, it's Real Creeper back for more. Oh yeah. Don't leave me any shit your comments after this video, like saying I'm a fag. Or I'll post that stuff on you. Tell all your friends and family about my YouTube channel, please. I really appreciate that. In about a month back, I don't know, maybe a long time, um, I'll be doing beat making Saturdays. Uh, and I'll be doing a live stream every Sat Sunday, I think. No, not a live stream, just a video every Saturday. And they're going to be like good things, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to be alright. Right, so I'm going to be showing you what you need in home console. Okay, first, you'll need a computer. Uh, your computer will need pretty good processing power. You'll need to be able to perform at least 4 gigs of RAM. You can get away with 2. Don't even try one. Even though some doors, that's software, the Ecom doors as well, um, they do say 1 gig of RAM, but it'll knock all your computer up, so I won't do that. So, yeah. Uh, you'll need a monitor and all that, yeah. You'll need a good set of studio monitors. If you can't afford a good set of studio monitors, just get a good, good set of studio heads, headphones. Yeah. Next, your problem is going to be getting your, getting your sound into your computer. And that's when an audio interface comes in. So, an audio interface is a USB device that you plug into your computer. You, sometimes you can just plug it in and you're ready to go off there. But you need an insta installation disc. Not very hard to install, but yes. Uh, if you want to record in people's vocals, you'll need a condenser mic. There's, th there's two, I think, other ones, but I wouldn't recommend them. Um, condenser mics... Oh, most of the time come in a shock mount, which is a little metal thing that it comes in. It's called a shock mount and a stand. These condenser mics cannot be hand-holded. They're very sensitive mics. Um, so, yeah. And then you will need a comfy chair. Um, uh, you will need a piano. Well, you don't need a piano, but, yeah. If you're just wanting to do bass parts and do funny effects on it, you might just do a 25-key one, but if you're a piano player or want to get more notes in, um, I'd recommend you getting a 49-key or a 61. So, yeah. Um, a drum machine, which some pianos do come with drum machines in, and... Yeah, drum machine which can get you some nice beats, comes with its own software sometimes and hardware. But yeah, boy, you can use it as a plug into your own software that might do Pro Tools, Log 9, Log 9 Studio, Log Studio, or the Pro. Um, so yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. Yeah, that's pretty much it that you need to get a pretty much basic on the studio. There is some things I haven't mentioned which you can get, but you don't need to buy these all in one. You can buy them in parts, separately, like piano, then that, then that, then that. First, to start off with the computer, monitors and software. That's all you need really, but if you want to get more in professional, get what I said. There is some more stuff that I haven't said. So, yeah, please keep that in mind. Yeah, so please rate. Please rate and like. Yeah. Bye bye. Don't leave me any crappy comments saying that I'm a fag. I like that Nathan Friendship77. Ooh, I like you. Send me a good one. Uh, yeah, some of you sending me emails and I like that. Thanks for doing that. Uh, I really appreciate it. Yeah, but it's the comments. Yeah, it's the show. <laughs> subscribe. And subscribe. And subscribe. And subscribe.
Thank you for watching this video.